good morning, welcome, or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. It's been a while since we've been in the filming room, but I've got a little doggy friend here with me. His name is Tomash. You guys have seen him a few times, but he insisted on being in here, so he's here. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra. I'm an American who lives in England, and I make videos of my life here, or whatever it is I'm really excited about whenever I sit down to film. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm doing another one of my classic Lush unboxing videos, which is very, very exciting. Today's box is going to be the November 2023 box, which is all new products, and it looks like this. Uh, which is very exciting. I can't wait to open it. If you're a kitchen subscriber, then you know that Lush gave us a little preview as to what would be in the box this month, and this month it is completely new product, which is very, very exciting. Uh, I can't wait to open it up. box when you first open it looks like this, as you guys already saw. It's got a cute little note inside. It says, hello, welcome to your November kitchen box. These products have been in development for a long time. We have personally used, shared, and tweaked each of these products as we formulated and perfected them. We're now proud enough to share them with you. We hope you love them as much as we do. Thank you. Yay, that's exciting. Lush hasn't done a completely new product box in a couple of years, so that's really exciting. And I love like being part of this kitchen club because you get to try stuff before anybody else does, which is really fun. Also, if you're not part of the Discord community, you also get to have some input there as well. So if you're not there, I have a link for the Discord in my description. I don't get any referrals for it or anything. It's just there because Lush asked me to put it in there. Without further ado, let's see what's in here. So as I already said, it's got the little note inside. It also has this little cute card actually it would look really pretty in my background and it has a description of some of the ingredients on it we're not going to talk about it because you want to be a little bit surprised even though Lush told us in it anyway um it also has oh cool a little package here I think they're stickers yeah it's a sheet of stickers which would be really fun maybe I'll put some of them in my background I don't know tell me you guys what you guys think um but that's really fun and cute. And then it has my product list as usual. And of course, lots and lots of packing peanuts, which again, I'll continue to throw all over my office because why the heck not? But yeah, uh, let's see what's inside. I'm very excited. First product in here is a new product, which I don't know why I just said that. The entire box is new products. But anyway, first new product in the box is a body scrub. And it is called Tropical Co-Mingle. I haven't tried it, obviously. I'm guessing this is going to be a lot like their exfoliating shower smoothies. But maybe a little bit more exfoliating. It says soften up with natural exfoliants, moisturizing butters, and an irresistible pineapple scent. Ooh, I wonder if this is going to be like Kalamazoo, but like for the body. Do you know what I mean? Because Kalamazoo is enzymatic as well. So let's open it up and give a smell. I'm hoping for lots and lots of good pineapple deliciousness. So let's see. Ooh, my gosh. That smells straight out of a pineapple. And it's very, very pretty. I love that. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, barely started this box 10 out of 10 already. But the ingredient list, it says as far as the scent families or the things that are in it are bamboo stem extract, um, tauga newt powder, cypress leaf infusion, spring water, almond oil, Brazilian nut oil, shea butter, broody oil, wild orange oil, fresh pineapple juice, and fair trade cocoa butter. So I cannot wait to try this. I really want to rub some into my skin right now, but I don't have a towel in here. So maybe we'll just skip that and save it for later. Okay, moving on to the next item in the box. It appears to be a lip scrub, which is very exciting because I need a new lip scrub. I say that, yet I have five in my bathroom. Anyway, it's a new lip scrub that's in the box is the Espresso Lip Scrub, which looks like this. And I'm guessing it's going to be deliciously coffee flavor. Let's just have a little look. So it says, perk up your pout, a softening blend of Oringo sugar, and coffee oil. So this is probably going to be delicious and perfect for the mornings. So let's see what it looks like inside. Ooh, I don't know if it's in the ingredient list or not, but it kind of looks like there's like some little chunks of like coffee grounds in there. Maybe it's actually like espresso cut up. I don't know, but I'm going to smell it and then I'll tell you guys the ingredients. So it smells like, ooh, it smells like a coffee house. You know, like when you walk into like Starbucks or like Costa and there's that smell, that's exactly what this smells like. Oh, it's delicious. It has that little bit of sweetness to it, probably from the sugar. But anyways, let's give it a little taste and then we'll read the ingredients because apparently I can't wait. Ooh, that is delicious. Hmm. It kind of tastes like espresso with sugar added to it. Ingredient list on here is officially castor sugar, orango sugar, cojoba oil, and coffee oil. So really simple. Honestly, you could probably just make this at home yourself, but this is delicious. And I'm going to have to hide this from myself because I might eat it. Or even worse, my son might eat it, which he has done. Actually, he ate almost the entire Sugar Plum Fairy one when it first came out. I was really disappointed. But anyway, next item in the box is probably the pro item I'm most excited about, and that is the Passion Fruit Exfoliating Shower Gel. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Exfoliating Shower Gel. And I am hoping this is going to smell exactly like the Passion Fruit Exfoliating 
um, like slice that we had last year, but let's gonna open it up. It's supposed to be a passion fruit scented scrubby shower gel, which is something that Lush has never done before. They have like the shower smoothies and the shower gels, but they never had like a shower gel scrub, which is brand new and really exciting. And oh, I can smell it from here. Oh my gosh, that smells incredible. Although I don't know if it smells exactly the same as the shower marshmallow slice you guys know what i'm talking about like the slice i'll put a picture of it up here if i can find it um it smelled just like candy and was incredible it doesn't smell quite like that it smells like a little bit more earthier to me i wonder if maybe there is like a bit of like maybe a mango or papaya in here as well i don't know but this color is really amazing if i just squeeze it you guys can see it's really thick shower gel which ooh, it's got a bubble <laughs> uh, which is probably good because it's going to help suspend the little chunks of I think it's passion fruit seed um ground up but I'm gonna close the lid first and then we're gonna look at the ing ingredients together but according to the label it is officially scented with let's see toga nut oil again they really love that toga nut isn't that another one of the products I think it's in this one as well right yeah it's in here as well um it also has toga nut powder okay fine sea salt fresh orange peel passion fruit seed powder organic orange oil, butcha oil, Listeria cubeba oil, frankincense, chomaca absolute, don't know what that is, sorry, and fresh papaya juice. It is papaya. Okay, I thought that I smelled papaya in here. I thought maybe I was going crazy. I thought the papaya juice was what gives it this like really like deep orangey color, but oh, so nice. I'm gonna give that one more smell. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to drink it. It kind of like smells like fruit punch to me. Like not like the product punch, but like, you know, fruit punch like you drink when you're a kid, but Anyways, I'm going to put the cap on this now and put this as far away from myself as possible so I cannot drink it because that would be really bad. We all saw that movie where the guy drank the shampoo. If I drank shower gel, probably the same thing. So now that I'm a safe distance from the shower gel, let's move on to the next item. And it's a naked product. It's the only naked in the box. And it is the oat milk latte with body scrub. And I can feel it right now. It's melting all over my fingers. It feels incredible. And of course, you know, going along with the name, it's just like, you know, a body scrub. So if you've ever used one of these before, you would just get it wet in the shower and, you know, use it as a body scrub, but I thought this is going to smell incredible because, you know, oat milk, latte, oh my gosh. And I bet it's going to be really exfoliating from probably oats inside, so let's give it a smell. Ooh, that's incredible. Wow. You know, I just had a thought. I think I have Demon in the Dark shower gel still. You know how amazing it would be if I used Demon in the Dark shower gel with this and also use the lip espresso lip scrub afterward? It'd be like a whole like coffee shower. That would be amazing, but oh my gosh. I cannot wait to use this. I'm going to tell you guys the ingredients. I'm going to put it down before it melts all over my fingers. According to the ingredient list, the official ingredients in oat milk latte shower scrub are fair trade cocoa butter and fair trade shea butter, which is moisturizing, but the cocoa butter gives it that like really creamy, like chocolatey almost smell. Ground coffee, which is the exfoliator, which it kind of reminds me of almost like a salad version of the cup of coffee body scrub, maybe a little bit gentler. Not sure if you've used this or if you had a chance to use this by the time that this video comes out, let me know. I haven't used cup of coffee in years, um, but it kind of sounds like it's a mild version of that. Um, as well as coffee oil, organic agave syrup, ground almonds, coffee butter, coffee butter. Never heard of coffee butter. I guess it's um, probably like an oil that comes out of the coffee bean. No idea about that. If you know, let me know in the comment section because I would love to know. And then it also has oat milk powder. So this is delish. Um, yeah, this box so far, 10 out of 10 still. Maybe 11 out of 10, depending on the next product. Not sure. But anyways, the last and final product in here, which is very sad, is a body lotion. And it's called Peachy Rose. Or Rose. So I wonder if it's going to be a cross between like a peachy scent and rose argan. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I hope that's what it's going to be. So let's open it up. I think it's gonna smell amazing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna smell amazing. So it's just like a white body lotion, which I think is good sometimes. Sometimes some people don't like colors in their body lotion, so I like that they didn't put it in here. But anyway, let's give it a smell. That doesn't really have a smell to me. That's really interesting. I wonder if I'm if I'm still smelling like the this on my fingers, but let's give it another. Yeah, I still don't smell anything. Maybe if I just try a little bit on my skin, we can do a little demo together. Ooh, it's very thick, which is amazing. Okay, now that I have that on my skin, I can definitely smell a little bit of rose. So let's see. There's no sparkles or anything. It's just like, you know, a classic hand slash body lotion. 
Ooh, that's actually really lovely. Now that it's on my skin and been spread around, I can smell it a lot more. It's a very gentle scent, so it's not gonna be like one of the lush, like in your face type scents. You know, if you use something like Sleepy, you can definitely smell it from a few feet away. This one, you have to be really close to smell, but yeah, this is lovely. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the smell of Gorgeous, as in like it's very like light and soft and a gentle smell, but yeah, I love this. So this would be amazing for anyone who doesn't like like really strong smells or just wants something that feels really luxurious because the rose, of course, is always luxurious. But um, I've chatted about the smell enough. Let's actually see what's in it and see if I actually know what I'm talking about. So um, Peachy Rose is officially scented with fresh rose petal infusion. Yeah, it does kind of smell like a rose garden if you really smell it. Like the smell you get walking through a rose garden, that's it. As well as almond oil, which makes it sweet. Fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic jojoba oil, lilip butter, rose oil, neroli oil, jasmine absolute, and lemongrass oil. Which is why I love that, because I love all of those things. Actually, over the years, I feel like my Lush like favorites have changed. I used to love like those really bright fruity scents. Like I still love some of their fruity things, but over the years I've kind of started to really appreciate a lot more of their like florally earthy scents, which is great. But yeah, wow, that's amazing. And I think that's all the products in the box, which is wow, Lush Kitchen. Um, Y'all have outdone yourselves and everything in this box is incredible. I love all of it. I think my favorite product in the box is probably the, I don't know, Am I allowed to say the lip scrub? I guess I can say whatever I want. But yeah, I think my favorite product is the Lush Scrub just because I feel like lip scrubs are something that I use every single day, especially in the UK when it gets really cold and I spend so much time in and out. My lips get really dry and chapped, so I'm excited to use that. And then I don't think I can pick a least favorite product. I don't think I can. Sorry, I guess if I had to choose a least favorite, maybe the Comingle. Um, not because I don't love Comingle, I think the smell is incredible, but just because I like the scent slightly less than the other things. Not really sure, but yeah, that's it. So, with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know your favorite products from the unboxing and what you thought of them. Um, like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching.